make a very fast library for our project. And so in our core, we want to make a blueprint function library and we'll call it bp underscore uh, fantasy library okay and we want to have uh, a dice roll category type and we want a function called roll before want roll d6 uh, roll d8 roll d10 roll d12 roll d20 okay and they are all dice roll we want to give them category it's quite important okay and we want to have a return value I want to do random int in range and we're running from one to four okay and this um, yeah we want it to be a pure function because we want it to restart every time a uh, execution node is being called Oh no, uh, I can actually just copy this, paste it here, change this to 8. Uh, pure and all of them are public okay we got the basic dice rolls that are just uh, handy and we'll have a lot of functions here that will continue to build uh, so I'm not closing that yet <clears throat> okay getting back here uh, yeah basically this is this is done. Let's get another one. Inventory and equipment configuration. So what we want to do, we want just to do custom uh, core uh, components. So we want to do uh, AGR equipment. Call BP Fantasy Equipment. And one other one, which is the HR inventory. Mm. Okay, and we got BP Fantas inventory. So now having those two, we also want to have a blueprint uh, interface. We call it BP inventory equipment underscore interface and why to be used in both of those classes uh, we should have two interfaces honestly let's, let's do it like this like properly inventory BP inventory interface and we need another one um, or BI actually 
equipment interface. Let's do it like this. And BI interface. Okay, so this is the yes. Uh, this is the equipment. So BI equipment interface, no functions or events, so that's easy. And here BI inventory interface. Okay, and still nothing. We can delete those functions. We don't want to override them, although they are running the super version, so they should be running the parent anyway. And we don't want to do anything here. We can just set some default values if we want. For example, we can do an equipment list and we have weapon. Oh, and we will need uh, items tags as well. So let's open our project settings. Um, let's go into gameplay tags and let's start adding new gameplay tags. So let's do item weapon dot sword add uh, okay for now it's enough because what this slot accepts is just item any weapon so now with the latest update of HR Pro you can just add any weapon here references uh, okay this is one two three four four empty references <coughs> mm. and there's nothing more to really do here mm. okay just one equipment slot maybe we want more than one let's let's stay with just the weapon for now mm, maybe we do like shields armor or something more but for now it's just equipment of weapons for quick purposes of testing and inventory let's let's go through it as well this is randomized this is automatically set debug uh, nah, never mind um, we really don't have much to set here as well. So if we want, we can, for example, here in the custom inventory, we can implement checks for pickups. Uh, if something can be picked up or not based on the maximum capacity of how much we can carry or the other stuff, other checks inside the component. And because it's inside a custom component, we don't have to do those checks in the character itself. Like any time that your character becomes this giant bloated, uh, just just humongous colossal uh, blueprint, it's it's not good. Like everything should be handled in certain components. So if you make a new character class and you add this component, it will work the same reliably. So we want fantasy equipment and inventory. So inventory, fantasy equipment. <clears throat> so we can start uh, immediately by running some just ease of life um, equipment interface function. So we can just get current weapon function and it can have an output of weapon reference and this will be an actor. And it can also have uh, item component reference and if we have this we now go into equipment and we can compile and in interface we now get get current weapon so what we want to do is run a function on this class so get item in slot and we know that the slot name is weapon. We're searching on self, right? So we're just searching for this by name. 
and we got the item which is the actor oh and we also should do like a, uh do we can we do valid check yeah we can do valid check but on the other hand we can pass non-valid object as well <coughs> so if it is not valid we're pushing nothing if it is valid then get item component check if it's valid and do another return node and if they are both valid then we want an item and we want item component and if it is not valid then we want to return item only it looks like a lot but it's really not and those valids are just just in case like actually the equipment should only accept items and it should only accept items of this so this can be empty but if it's not empty we don't need to do this check it's always has a valid component so this is one less execution for this node uh, so we just do it like this so if this is valid it, it always is an item and, and it always has item component and also on success true because on success false we want to return uh oh then we don't need to do this check we just want to do this because we already done valid check inside this function okay so now we've got this and what we can do we can go here and we can actually even implement uh, here the equipment interface compile it and we have it here now and we can get the fantasy equipment and we can get current weapon interface call and we can just push forward this so now on event graph whenever i say get weapon i can literally just call this function or I can get weapon as interface call and this will be the same result and I can also get weapon of the equipment manager because it understands that the equipment manager has this interface so it automatically just said hey you know what maybe you want this uh, and all of them will have the same result the difference is that previously every time I need a weapon uh, I would go through this like get item in slot and i would have to state that it's on this component then see if it's successful and and all that but now i can just call this one node and it will give me a weapon so that's a big ease of life <coughs> that, that i can do now okay so we got those uh, three components now. Let's go to our configuration. We got also interfaces to them. I didn't add it here, but add inventory interface and add equipment interface. And yeah, they're also completed. So it doesn't really change much and it's completed.